In addition to the helmet, we redesigned his mace. We had made a mace for the Witch King. And I looked at the first one that they built and I just said, it's OK, but we need to make it bigger. OK, so we made it bigger. And Pete came back and said, no, I need it bigger again. So we made it bigger. And everybody's going, oh my god, this is, this is like, this thing's getting huge. It's, t it's totally impractical now. You need a big rest. <laughs> well, it went from impractical to ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, this, this thing was huge. And I'm like, hey guys, I'm, I'm embarrassed to take this on set. I'm going to get laughed off set. This is so ridiculously large. Oh, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> and so I sort of hid it under my jacket as I walked through all the armour techs onto set so I didn't get a ribbing. And I went up to Pete and I said, look, Pete, this is what we've come up with for the Witch King. Pete gets it. He's flaying it like this. He gets one swing and then the handle catches in his lapel and the momentum, <laughs> he's going around. It's, it's so funny and it nearly flips him over and it, it hits the ground and it's caught in his jacket. And it's like, you don't think the head's just a little bit too excessive, do you? And he goes, well, I was actually thinking it's about 50% too small and I'm like, oh, no, please. It ended up being an enormous cast iron spiked thing. Some people call it a mace, some people call it a morning star. Oh, God. And we're, and we're... Either way, I ended up calling it damned heavy because it was, it was damned heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it ended up being so large that you, you actually couldn't pick it up. Right. And so I'm lying on my back in the scene, and I'm lifting it up into camera shot for him. Once again, Faith and Pete, when you finally see it in the movie, it is ludicrously large, but it works because it's ludicrously large. I mean, you see that thing, and you see the look in Eowyn's face when she sees it. She's terrified. I don't think it jars anyone out of the moment. I don't think it stops people to think, God, oh, that's a little daft. I think they just accept it as a piece of Peter Jackson's storytelling. <laughs> 